Right now, though, we are following a number of stories from all across Metro Detroit this morning. That includes stories out of Royal Oak and Detroit. But we do want to start in St. Clair Shores because that is where a local middle school art teacher is out charged, charged with making false threats against her own school. Prosecutors say 59 year old Joanna Roan wrote at least three nodes with threatening language on them just last week at Jefferson Middle School in St. Clair Shores. Investigators say the surveillance video shows Roan placing the notes under a classroom door, also in the library and in the media center. This is a threat made to these children that are in the school and also to all kids across the state. We expect more from our teachers. A judge placed Roan under house arrest, but that also includes a GPS tether until a psych evaluation is done. Here's the thing, if she's convicted, she could face up to 20 years in prison. A local performing arts organization is in need of your help uh, after donations that were collected during this year's coat drive were stolen. Casso Group is headquartered inside the Mary Grove College Student Center right there on West McNichols in Detroit. And on Saturday night, somebody took merchandise and gifts from the group's office, which totaled more than $10,000. We buy 75 brand new winter coats every year. So we give the castle members and their siblings coats. We're hoping that we can replace those items before Christmas. You got to wonder why someone would even do something like that, especially before the holidays. We're told that there were no signs of forced entry into the group's office. And right now, Detroit Police and Mary Grove College are investigating the incident. But if you would like to help, we have posted details on how you can do just that. Just go to clickondetroit.com. One of the African cats that made headlines after getting loose in Royal Oak back in October. You might remember this. Well, one of the cats escaped again, and we're told that police were called to LaSalle Avenue Monday evening, and thankfully they were able to find the cat. But you might remember back in mid-October, the owner of these cats was issued five tickets after two of them escaped from a home right near 13 Mile and Rochester Roads. She was given a deadline to move the cats, but did not move them and said instead she was talking with her attorney. We expect to hear more about the actions that the police are going to be taking now after Monday's escape. Again, that's going to happen a little bit later today.